Hi, my name's Tim Johnson. In this short video, I'm going to share with you some of my sober diet tips, which will really strengthen your sobriety and help with, with everything from your energy to your mood. And also at the end of it, I'm going to share with you four daily habits, which I promise you will change your life. Diet is a, a really contentious issue because there are so many fad diets and so much information out there. You know, you can you can search and search and search. And I'm sure most of you know what a healthy diet looks like and, and, and what should be included in it. In early sobriety, it's really difficult because um, you you tend to get, particularly with an alcohol uh, addiction, after, after that you tend to get massive cravings for sugary type food and junk type food and that's fine in early sobriety you know you need to you need to relax a bit because you know it's really difficult enough as it is without trying to cut all that out as well so I'm you know me especially because I have a very very sweet tooth in early sobriety yeah I did I did eat too much sugar and too much junk food the problem with that is that the that type of food particularly sugar and junk food anything in a packet really stimulates the same uh, chemicals in your brain the same centers in your brain the drugs and alcohol do those pleasure centers so it can be really easy because it's an instant gratification again to pick up some really bad habits with diet and after early sobriety, continue with the sugar addiction and with the junk food addiction and perhaps not taking care of your diet as you should do. And then wondering why you're feeling low and your mood is low and your energy is low. And, you know, it can lead to um, relapse and all sorts of stuff. So I just want to share with you a few quick tips. I'm not going to preach at you about diet because each to their own, you know, um, I know what works for me and what has worked for me as a, well, I'm, a, I'm nearly 59 years old now and I've never had so much energy and, and, and such good mood pattern and constant mood and better sleep than I get, than I've got now, you know, at any time during my life. So I'll just share with you my, my sort of daily diet, if you like. Now, there's a lot of... Um, because I'm most I'm mostly sort of plant based vegan type food now, to be totally honest with you, and that doesn't suit everybody. And I still eat I, I don't cut meat totally out of my diet, but I tend to you know I only meet, eat meat perhaps a couple of times a week. And I'm not saying you know you, you should just jump on that back. It's quite difficult to do, um, but that's the sort of thing I do now. Most of my my food is sort of plant based. I start the day with um, porridge, porridge oats which I add seeds, pumpkin seeds to, I add chia seeds to, which chia is brilliant and, and, and is a real good energy food and gives you all sorts of um, benefits with, with fatty acids and stuff. Um, it, you know, it's brilliant, so put that in. I chop a banana into it, any other fruits I've got lying around, but usually just a banana. And I add a bit of all bran into that. And eat that bowl of porridge in the morning and that will see me through because it's got complex carbohydrates and you should base your diet around complex carbohydrates because you won't get those sugar cravings, you know, uh, uh, those dips in energy and those sugar cravings that, um, that you used to get. And it's a religion for me to have that porridge every morning, that breakfast every morning is vitally important, sets me up for the day, sets my mood up for the day. I take um, some cod liver oil and some B vitamin tablets every day, a good multivitamin, and um, and that's me set up then. And I don't eat again till four o'clock in the afternoon, and because I only eat two meals a day now, I found that that is more than sufficient. And I may have a banana before bedtime, um, and and that porridge will keep me going till four o'clock with no energy, you no know, spikes. No sugar spikes, no, you know, it gives me good, solid, constant energy all day and is very, very nutritious for the body. And then I'll have a, a good sized meal sort of between between four and six o'clock, I would say. I never eat after six o'clock for sleep reasons. Um, and that will be plant based generally. Um, I don't eat any packet food. I don't eat uh, anything that comes out of a packet or processed. I try to avoid. I don't, and and uh, I don't eat anything with sugar in it, refined sugar in it now. I've cut that totally out of my diet. And uh, everything is improved because at the end of the day, food is medicine. 
whatever you say whatever you put into your body food is medicine and it will either heal it or it will hurt it and generally the type of diet i have now which is fresh food um, if i use oil it's olive oil um if i if you know like no sugar brown rice i eat plenty of carbohydrate don't cook carbohydrates out because that's all rubbish um good lot of brown rice quinoa that type of stuff as my as my staple if potatoes are fine as well as long as you're adding loads of butter and stuff to it i've cut dairy more or less out of my diet because bread and dairy and sugar were the three that were giving me sort of um digestion problems and lack of energy problems and mood problems i've done that with trial and error it won't suit everybody but have a think about it try cutting those out and seeing how you feel you know it, it's not easy to do it's just habit that you build up over a period of time and um and like i say sort of banana before bedtime about a couple of hours before i, I go to sleep and that that does me more than enough for the day um like i say you know the no meat bit won't suit everybody and like i say i have chicken a couple of times a week in that in that whole whole food whole, sorry whole food plant-based diet and people say oh you can't you know it's expensive but it actually works out and i've worked this out cheaper to eat this way than to eat the, the shit and junk that i was eating before there's no absolutely no doubt about that because you can buy um good fresh food is much much cheaper in the at the end of the day than packet food so give that a go it's trial and error you know it, it takes time and you know you usually sort of three four months into my sobriety was when i started to do this everything has improved i don't get depressed anymore i have a constant mood um, i sleep well i have massive energy all day i work out every day um you know it's it, it, for 59 years old i felt feel better now than i've ever felt in my life so that's all i'm going to preach about diet just have a think about it and remember that what you put into your body is medicine you know it is it affects every aspect of your body's performance what you put into it and also plenty of water every day it's a, that's a given um six to eight pints of water every day i drink the four things i'm going to share with you that will change your life i do every single day now they're four habits that are ingrained into me and um and i'll just share them quickly with you without going to great depth you know every single day i tell the people that matter to me and my family that i love them life is really short and a couple of people close to me have been snatched away recently and it sometimes takes that to wake you up and realize that family is everything and the people that you love are everything and that every day particularly with today there's you know with today's communication devices etc tell the people you love that you do love them every single day it's a habit that i you know is ingrained into me now because i value them and um, i'm grateful to have them in my life all those people that i love the second thing is i try to learn something every single day however small i try and learn something to stimulate my mind every single day there's a wealth of stuff to look at on youtube and the internet now and books and you know i just try and stimulate my mind with something new that helps me to improve my life every single day the third thing is to create something every single day whether that is to write something down or or um you write a book you know you're writing a book a poem or you're drawing something or you're, you're just or even just creating a vibe <laughs> you know those things try and create something positive every single day and the final thing is to give service every single day and that may mean you know it doesn't just mean going and volunteering and helping other people it can just mean smiling at someone to brighten their day and saying good morning and saying hello and talking to someone who's lonely um and 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 just cheering someone's day up because that'll change their world and could change their life simple as that give service so learn something create something give service and tell everyone in your family that you love them every day and they're the four things that will change your life if you make them a habit carpe diem much love to you seize the day today thank you for listening to this please subscribe like and share these videos if you think they'll be useful to others it just helps more people see them thank you bye bye